So after a few days of letting the does come out here and duke it out, we've got the babies out on the pasture. They're all <laughs> very happy to be back with their moms. And then you've got these guys that are curious, but just not very concerned, which is good. They're so used to the goats, I didn't think they'd be an issue, but it's good to see them out on the pasture. What? What? Sweet Samson. Meet Sweet Samson, Sonny's little boy. Okay, easy. I should have known. I think it's safe to say the babies much prefer it out here. <laughs> what is it? What is that? First impressions? Huh? What'd you think? I've noticed something. Guys, my goats are trying to nurse off my donkeys. Sir, there's no milk and I don't understand why you're doing that. And Lola being the best donkey ever. Guys, oh, what is this? What are you guys doing? There is no way they can be getting anything, and I mean anything, off of her. But Lola is just like standing there like right as rain, like, okay, this is cool. Huh. Anybody know anything about donkey's milk? He looks like he's got a milk mustache. Don't let the milk... Uh, oh, no. Guys, quick, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. What is this? He looks like he had milk on his mouth. There's no way. No way. And look, he like tries to stand up to do this. Lola. I think it's almost go time for Rapunzel. She's doing a lot of talking. You guys can see she's got what I call the kickstand. And they're kind of braced and ready to start pushing soon. And you got Tootie, who is her daughter, right there. And she is just talking to her mommy. But she's not due until Friday. This lady is on day 148. You're on day 148, love. It's time. It's time, love. Yes. It's time. Talk to me. Talk to your baby. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's got the signature drop. So you guys can hear her too. She's doing a lot of talking. She keeps looking back at her belly, which I'm thinking means she's having light contractions, but they'll also start to talk to their babies. So that little meh, meh. She's been really vocal. But she's really not that vocal, are you? So she's talking to her babies, and she's been she's been kicking up nests all over the stall. So I think she's I think today's the day. Of course, I checked her all night last night, and um, she's deciding now before a softball game. I have to really leave here in about an hour and a half, so I might send Mark up and then do my best to get up there. Hopefully, she uh, pushes them out beforehand. Be really nice, but goats rarely go on a, on our uh, schedules. You guys can see she's got she's got discharge. Obviously, smells something very weird. Oh, you're so silly. 
She's doing all of the classic signs of a doe that's getting ready to go into labor or is in the throes of early labor. Her udder is real big and tight. She has discharge. She's doing weird Fleming. She's doing a lot of talking, very vocal, nesting. She's been friendly all the way up until today where she's kind of staying in the corner. She'll come up to me for food or if I coax her and talk real sweet. But uh, I think we're getting ready to have some Rapunzel babies. So Rapunzel is due Sunday. It's now Wednesday, which means that she's at day 148, three days past her due date, or three days past the date where I saw her stand and receive services from Flu. But I think uh, day 148 is going to be the day. Hello. Hey, Mama. It's okay. You see, usually she'd come up to this and she's not. Oh, you're going to make a liar? You're going to make a liar out of me? Poor little Mama. I know. You poor sweet thing. You sweet thing, I know. Poor baby. It's okay. It's all right, sweetie. Go back to my corner. It's go time. Just giving us all the gold boys this year. <laughs> what a beauty, Mama. Good job. Hello there, little darling. Hello, little darling. Yeah, there's the head. Is it just a head? No, there's there's feet right there. Okay, you're all right. And a doe! Yay! Huh? The white one was. Yeah, a buck and a doe. All of my does are dark colored. All of them. Hello, darling! Hello, darling! You guys missed it, but this little girl got airdropped. I don't know if it caught it or not. My SD card filled. Right as she popped right out.
<laughs> Billy just cannot handle it when it's all about the littles. When you feel about widows like Opal. Hi, Rosie. You can't either. She says, I'm still one of the littles. You're still one of the littles, aren't you? Hello, Tuco. Hi, Tuco. Queen Dilly. Can you not? Can you not handle that you're not a little anymore? There's new littles in town. <laughs> what willow? Look at you, with your little friend on board. You're hilarious. You're hilarious. Opal, don't eat her, don't eat her stuff now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are we going to do, Opal? What are we going to do? What are you going to do, Opal? Don't eat her hair. <laughs> You're back with the herd. This is a good girl. So Rapunzel, how would you say that your integration back with the herd has been? Has it been good? Has it been good? Are you back to being chums with Willow and Pearl and Pinky back there. Huh? Going pretty good? Must be. I know, right? It's really hard to believe that these kids are already out with Rapunzel back with the herd. They've been disputed. They're already integrated back in and being socialized with the herd. And we're only a few weeks away from weaning and for Rapunzel's buckling to be leaving us. Though Radical Skedaddle, or Skids for short, will be staying with us here on Mulberry Branch Farm. But we still have a couple of kids to hit the ground. We've got the garden going in. We've got some things going on with the Muscovy Ducks. You guys just don't want to miss anything that we've got going on here. So if you found yourself enjoying the video, let us know, leave us a like, drop us a comment, and subscribe. But if you subscribe, make sure that you ring that notification bell so that when we post the next goat birth or the next Muscovy Duck adventure or just to take you with us in our garden that you get a notification. But in the meantime, I hope that you're all staying safe out there and being kind to one another. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.